Hello everybody, it's Aditya here, back with another video. Well, today I'll be showing you guys how to connect your Wii Remote to Dolphin Wii Emulator on a Mac. And uh, this is pretty easy, and I'll show you guys how. Uh, what you'll need, uh, first off, you'll need Bluetooth for your Mac. Uh, all of the modern Macs have Bluetooth, so it should be fine. Uh, next off, you'll obviously be needing Dolphin Wii Emulator. Uh, the link to the latest version of Dolphin Emulator version 4 is in the description below, and getting the latest version is, of course, recommended. Uh, and alright guys, let's get started. Uh, first, you want to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. You can do this by going to the taskbar up here, and selecting the Bluetooth icon, and turn it on. As you can see, I already have it on, so let's leave it on for now. Uh, if you don't see this Bluetooth icon up here, you can always just go to this Apple icon on the left left hand side and you can click on system preferences and Then you'll see Bluetooth over here You can select it and turn Bluetooth off or on and in this case you'll need to get Bluetooth on So yeah, uh, once you have enabled Bluetooth you can go ahead and open up Dolphin emulator I have it open right now uh, then you want to go to the help taskbar above where my cursor is right now and you want to search up Wii and you'll get Wiimote settings uh, earlier and you want to click that uh, earlier on there's actually a button right here Wiimote settings but I guess Dolphin emulator they removed it so you want to click on Wiimote settings right over here uh, then depending on how many Wii remotes you want to connect change the corresponding Wii remotes to real Wiimotes uh, cause by default it will be selected on emulated Wii Remote and this is basically the game's Wii Remote as you don't actually have a real Wii Remote so it's basically controlling the keys but now you want to select real Wii Remote uh, for this demonstration I'll only be using one Wii, one Wii Remote uh, you can add more if you want right over here and then repeating the process uh, once you've done that then you want to make sure continuous scanning is turned on if you have it off that's uh, recommended if if you see that option right here. Uh, Alright guys, now we're now we're by the final step and all you need to do is press and hold the 1 and 2 buttons on your Wii Remote like being shown on the screen right now. Uh, this will basically trigger the Bluetooth on your Wii Remotes. And then you can basically go ahead and click on Refresh. I'm clicking my 1 and 2 buttons right now. Then you can go ahead and click Refresh. And if you've done this all correct, your Wii Remote should rumble, indicating that it has been connected. And if it rumbles, but it's not connected yet, simply re-click the refresh button, and it should rumble again. But this time actually connecting, so let, let us try again. And sometimes it doesn't connect. So yeah. Alright, let's click refresh again. Hopefully this time it does connect. Yep, and on my Wii Remote, it has connected, showing the one one player. And that's it, guys. Um, I hope that helped, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And please support me by liking this video and by subscribing. It greatly helps for future videos. And that's it. Stay tuned for future videos, guys. Bye.